Hi everybody, welcome to Talk O'Clock. Happy Saturday! Hope you're doing good. Hope your week was great. Uh, mine was quite lovely. Um, we had Sebastian's birthday party at my house um, on Saturday. And aside from a major thunderstorm and heavy rain, just like one and a half hours before everybody was supposed to be in my garden, it was awesome. We had such a great evening. Um, like 10 people just uh, lo loving spending time together, had a barbecue, chatted a lot, had a lot of fun, and uh, just simply enjoying ourselves until... 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I was so tired the next day. Um, but yeah, uh, enjoyed it a lot. The party went really great. And we, like I said, we had a major, major thunderstorm just before everybody was supposed to be here. And we were honestly not sure if we could have the party in our garden. I mean, there's a part where I do have um, like a sunscreen um, and on top of the like underneath but then on top of the balcony um, that uh, of, of the guys that live above us um, so there was quite the dry spot but not for 10 people so we were thinking okay maybe the living room and the patio in combo yada 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 but thank God, um, the rain stopped like 45 minutes before everybody was supposed to be here. So we could have our actual plan of having everything um, taking place in the garden because we had a Corona version of beer pong. I don't know. Um, I played it for the first time. Yeah, I almost had to get to 40 years old to ever play that game, which is, well, university or college kind of age, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we, anyways, we had a very special version of that. We called it Corona version and uh, was quite safe. Everybody um, took care uh, of like not being too close and sharing things with other people. So yeah, it was a lovely party. Um, and again, I was super tired the next day, but we had a painting session planned, like I had mentioned in the vlog last week, and I finished my figurine. So um, Luna, the summoner that I'm currently playing uh, in Gloomhaven, is freshly painted and will be uh, playing, I think, hmm. When maybe maybe tomorrow morning I have time to play. We'll see. Um, around the two, uh, I gotta ask Sebastian. But uh, very soon she's gonna hit uh, the table again, and um, you can see her on my Instagram Instagram account. Then freshly painted, and I had a lot of fun. Uh, everybody just sitting around a huge table. Everybody painting minis uh, like Warhammer. Um, minis and Gloomhaven minis, so so um, yeah, nerding a lot for like a whole afternoon. But once I was home, I pretty much just went to bed and I was spent, like really, really spent. I was so tired. It was really hot on Sunday too, so my energy was. <sighs> not great at all. I had trouble focusing on things and I was simply like 5-6 p.m. I was spent. I was really tired. Everybody at the table noticed like, okay, are, are you gonna fall asleep now? Are you okay? Um, so I went home uh, pretty soon after that and just, well, had a quiet evening trying to um, fill up my batteries again and uh, I, I was able to so that was lovely um, uh, because of hydration too mm. and then Wednesday so all the other days I did film 
a lot. I did work on video editing on Tuesday. Um, so Monday, the whole day, I did film. Um, got the next seven videos done for the Pinselgeschichten Junior channel. So I'm set for a while and can work on other things. Like, for example, next week, um, restarting Beyond the Lines, filming there, coloring, yada, 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 all of that. Um, so uh, I, I was productive in the studio this week as well. But on Wednesday, um, Sebastian and I had a date with my mom. Um, we had planned that for a while. And it was the first time since... Let me see, January, maybe? I think it was January that we spent a longer time together. So not my mom and I, but the three of us together. I think it was January that she was at my house when Sebastian was at my house too. But um, that's, yeah, so we had maybe like an hour or two. But this time around, we um, had time to spend like a whole afternoon together, which was very lovely. Uh, we went out and played mini golf, uh, which was quite surprising how well it went. So it was the first time with um, my current uh, disability level uh, that I played mini golf and it worked quite well with balance and everything. Um, it was exhausting, of course, because it was well also warm. Uh, so again, energy levels not that high, but it went pretty well. And we had a lot of fun together, um, had dinner afterwards, just chatting. Um, uh, the, the mini golf course and also the restaurant are in a very lovely park. So we just uh, went for a walk too and just chatting, catching up and you know, goofing off and having fun and spending time together. So it was very lovely. And uh, she passed um, a box to me that day uh, that I had um, talked about with her beforehand. So my dad um, did very much like model trains. So he had like a whole big piece set up in our old house before we moved to this area. And I remember in my childhood just um, being able to play with that and uh, building the scenery with my dad and such. So a couple of months ago, my mom um, went through a couple of boxes in the cellar and said, you know, I'm not sure what to do with the, with that model train. I would love uh, for my niece and nephew to maybe be able to play with it, but I'm not sure how to set it up. And I said, you know what? I got somebody who can help us out with that. So uh, Sebastian's dad is uh, very much into model trains as well. So uh, I said, you know, uh, just bring me a couple of um, trains and like um, stuff that uh, comes with like um, um, power cords and everything. Just bring me that to my house or uh, let me get it from your house and I can try and set it up. Uh, with Sebastian's dad so that my niece and my nephew can play with that in a couple of weeks or months whenever they are curious about it. So she brought me the big box and it was very lovely to uh, rummage through it and remember things from my childhood from when um, my dad and I would uh, work on the uh, scenery for the model trains and such. So um, the box is here and uh, in about two weeks, I guess, uh, we'll have time to work on that. And I'm very curious of what I will remember uh, from back in the day when I was very little and played with it. If I remember anything uh, on how to set it up or 
if I have to relearn in that regard. But um, Sebastian said that, and I are very much looking forward to uh, trying to figure out how to get that system up and running. Because it's, well, if you are quite quite new to the channel and don't know, I was born in uh, GDR, which is now the eastern part of Germany. So there were different kinds of uh, train systems to say the, the systems that are available now or were available in uh, the western part of Germany at that time. So we got to figure out how um, that system works. Um, and it's going to be quite interesting, but um, I had a lot of fun rummaging through stuff and remembering um, uh, Thursday morning. I had a couple of um, minutes to look through that. But yeah, uh, it was very lovely. And um, yesterday I just finished uh, video work. Um, so scheduling videos, the tiny little bit of um, post-production editing stuff on the Inselgeschichten Junior um, videos. And today I'm only working on the vlog and then I do have the day off because um, Sebastian and I are going to have the third uh, online concert of our favorite band this evening. So um, going to Sebastian's house for the night and uh, we're gonna cook lovely dinner together and enjoy that concert because the lead sing singer uh, is turning 40 and they have like a birthday party kind of concert planned with lots of guests and such so it's gonna be awesome and uh, we're very much looking forward to it and we're also gonna play a couple of board games so um, probably tonight we're gonna play uh, the first expansion like not the one that comes with the big box but the first expansion of Altiplano because Sebastian really likes that game. We've played it uh, Wednesday evening and Thursday morning by the way. Thursday morning I sucked so hard. Um, if you know me for a while you know that I have what I like to call Wheaton's disease which is rolling dice when it's really critical in an absolutely shitty way. I'm uh, having the same thing when it comes to pulling certain chits out of a bag, for example, which you have to do in Altiplano. I was unable to um, pull out food for four rounds in a row, and I had f six food um, tokens in my bag, so it was actually quite likely that I would pull those uh, tokens, but no. No, I couldn't. So I could only travel once and uh, couldn't really do anything for four rounds. And in the last round, where I wanted to pull anything non-food from my bag to uh, put into storage and get more points, guess what uh, I pulled out of the bag? All of the six food tokens. I was so mad because, I mean, it's almost like a skill to uh, th that I have to not be able <laughs> to pull the things from the bag that I need in a game in, in, in uh, five, five turns total. I mean, that, that has to count for something, right? So, um, I wasn't very happy with uh, the way the game went uh, Thursday morning because, yeah, that's that was just annoying and hilarious in a, in a sense, so still enjoyed the morning. But uh, we're going to play the first big expansion um, of Altiplano, I guess, tonight um, after the concert. So I have to read rules after this um, Vlog is done, and then I gotta pack my bag uh, to take everything with me. And uh, hopefully tomorrow morning, maybe we got some time to play Gloomhaven, another scenario before I go home and work some more, because I 
uh, have a lot of videos that I have to film until end of October and get everything edited and scheduled and ready. Because uh, this week what I also did was taking a look at how I want to, um, or what I want to do at the end of the year. So usually I take December off, uh, just filming vlogs, nothing else. Um, this year I'm going to take off December and November because um, I'm going to spend November on writing um, a, uh, an adventure scenario story for um, DSA, so role-playing game. And I need a lot of time and inspiration and time to chat with my co-writer. Um, so I said, okay, I, I want to take November off, which leads me into uh, what is going to be on both of the channels. So both of the channels will have videos until end of November. Uh, I'm going to pre-record uh, everything, so um, stuff will be on the channel. Uh, both of the channels will have um, no videos other than vlogs, so nothing on Pinsel Geschichten Junior, but the vlogs on uh, this particular channel here in December. And I'm going to go back to usual uh, to the usual publishing uh, routine in January then. So I have to film 22 videos and prepare them for until end of November, so that there's something on both channels end of no until end of November. And um, I'm looking at my notes there. And um, uh, that means that over the next couple of weeks, I will, well, record a couple, uh, a lot of videos to have Beyond the Lines be um, available weekly and uh, Art Day and Pinsel Geschichten Junior bi-weekly. Um, I'm pretty much set until beginning of November for the Junior channel. I got everything set up until then, so I only need a few videos to um, uh, film for the Junior channel. I am set until mid-October for Art Day. I got videos there. Uh, but I have to record a lot of Beyond the Lines videos. That's the majority. There's like, I need 13 videos for uh, Beyond the Lines to have everything pre-recorded and set up so that you guys have videos uh, until end of November. And uh, I spend a couple of um, hours, like one and a half or two hours, on thinking about how I wanted to work with um, the thing of having kind of a vacation uh, end of the year and uh, making time for creative writing. But also, you know, having no videos at the channel. So I've been uh, figuring that out. Uh, everything is set in motion. Next week, I'm going to start recording a lot of videos. And my plan is to record two to three art videos every week so that I do have the filming process under my belt fairly quickly. And then have maybe like a week or one and a half weeks to only do editing, post-production, scheduling, block writing, blah, 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 all, all of that uh, post-production kind of work. So fingers crossed that this will work. Um, I hope so. And I'm very much looking forward to doing creative writing again and uh, having a whole month set up to work on an, on an adventure, uh, doing story writing and all of that. Um, it's going to be very lovely, I guess. Um, yeah, but I got to do, I got to do my work beforehand before I can play. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of the plan for end of the year, just for you to keep in mind, um, and not, uh, be um, surprised when there is not going to be a video in December. But I need a vacation too to restart um, uh, 
the creativity in 2021. But yeah, that's that's gonna be that's my week, I guess. Did I forget anything? Let me check. Nope. I got everything that I um had a note of and I remembered it without looking at the notes. Quite proud of myself. So uh I'm looking forward to the next couple of weeks painting a lot. Um, I'm hoping it will be a little cooler so that my energy levels are back to normal and I could maybe even film two or three videos in a day. Um, not doing the editing per se, but just filming and uh, sitting on my art desk for a long time and just doing art. I'm, yeah, kind of looking forward to that. I'm hoping, um, but I will be fine with just filming one video a day, but filming like two or three days in the week. So yeah, we'll see. I will let you know how things go uh, over here, how how the energy levels are, how filming goes and um, what else is gonna be new. But yeah, um, that was my week, quite lovely. Um, being out of the house a lot and uh, being quite productive too. So it was, I think it was a great uh, combination of things this week. But I'm gonna let you go now because uh, I have to get ready for leaving the house. Uh, again, like I said, I gotta read rules and uh, it is uh, half half past twelve in uh, like midday. So I do have uh, three hours to do everything. Yeah, that's gonna be a challenge. But I'm gonna do my best and uh, uh, say goodbye now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely weekend. Do something creative. Do something fun. Something productive other lovely things and uh, I'm gonna see you next week again. Take good care guys. Bye!